Alright, back with another video. Today's video is going to be a special one, because as you may have guessed by the title, today is the 20th anniversary of Bush's fourth album, Golden State. This isn't going to be a full-on review of the album since I already reviewed it two years ago. If you want to see my review of it, there's going to be a link in the description. I know it's not one of my best reviews by any means, since that was back when I did the reviews with the old format, where I look at the album before ending the review. Nowadays, I end the review by asking the viewer questions that are related to the album. I know some of my opinions have changed since then, so keep that in mind. I also talked about this album when I made a video questioning why the critics don't like Gavin Rossdale's music. And there's going to be a link to that video in the description if you want to check that out. As I say, this was the fourth studio album that Bush made. And it was the last album they did with the original lineup. It was self-produced with the help of with help from Dave Sardi, who also did the mixing. There were two different studios where this album was recorded. Olympic Studios in London and The Village in Los Angeles. This album was released on, on October 23rd, 2001 under Atlantic Records, which was exactly 20 years ago today. I'm going to briefly talk about the cover. Originally the cover was going to feature a jetliner on it, However, Bush decided to change the cover to something more minimal because of 9-11. Honestly, I think it's for the best that they changed the cover. The cover that made onto store shelves may not, may not look as appealing, but I think changing it to this was the right decision. Anyways, I read that the 20th anniversary edition of this album is coming out you know, with three bonus tracks. The first is Japanese Freight Train, which was a B-site that was available through Bush's website. However, it was released on the Japanese and Australian versions of the album as a bonus track. The next song is American Eyes, which is actually a B-side from the, from the single for The People That We Love. Now, the last bonus track is called Fireball, which was unreleased until recently. I have listened to these bonus tracks and they're really good. It's a shame that they weren't included on the regular version of this album. Of course, my copy is the regular version. So it doesn't have those bonus tracks. Now, at the time of me making this video, or at least uh, at the time of this video is being uploaded, we're one week away from Gavin Rossdale's 56th birthday, so happy early, so happy early birthday to Gavin. Now, speaking of which, I did that video questioning why the critics don't like Gavin's music. And I said that this is this is what I think is the second best album that Bush did featuring the that featured the original lineup. I also mentioned that this was the last album that Bush released for disbanding in 2002. And I guess that they wanted to split up on a high note. Of course, Bush reunited in 2010 with a slightly different lineup and are still making new music to this day. Hey, maybe they'll do a song for John Wick Chapter 4 or 5, since they already did a song for Chapter 3 back in 2019. So you never know. If that's the case, then I'm, I'm predicting that the song will end up on Bush's next album. And I'm assuming that Tyler Bates will come back to produce it. I know I went off track for a bit there, but what can you do? Anyways, I haven't decided on whether or not I'll be getting the 20th Anniversary Edition of Golden State. But I know that some people will. Now's the part where I question you. Are you doing anything to celebrate the 20th anniversary of Golden State? Do you think Bush should have kept the original cover? Do you think it was the right decision to change the cover to what it is? Do you think the original lineup of Bush will ever have a reunion? Are you planning on getting the 20th anniversary edition of Golden State? Let me know in the comments. If you liked the video, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Be sure to hit the notification bell to be notified of future uploads. Thanks for watching, I'll be back soon with another video.